we got some snow and we got a big storm coming. Did you see that winter advisory? Yeah, we're supposed to get a big storm. Three inches per hour. Winter storm Quinlan. Wow. I got a shopping list. I want to go to the store. Well, before we do that, don't you want to walk the property and see the what animals have been here? Yeah, we should do that. Looks like we had some deer up by the house. What did we plant there? Do you remember? It was a cone flower, purple cone flower there. Anyway, yeah, here's some uh, deer tracks. Looks like they spent the night here. Pull them up here. We had snow for oh, almost a week straight. In the last few days, it's been warming up and so it's melting. It's a pretty nice day today. You can see they went over here. Some of them went over there. We have a spring over there, so they went over there to get water. Yeah, they come over here to this natural spring. The water's fresh water coming right out of the ground. They come over here and drink. You can see the crow tracks right there. You can see the mom must have had a couple of baby deers with her. There's something about walking on fresh snow. <laughs> it's fun. I don't see any big cat tracks or wolf or fox or bear. We get a lot of that around here. We have one bear that was on the other side of the mountain. But uh, so far, all I see is pretty much deer tracks. The creek behind the house is starting to melt and has pretty good flow. You can hear the water from here. Might have spoke too soon. Looks like there's been a little fox over here in the bushes. He must have come up from the stream side. You can see the maple trees are starting to bud out. Here's our beehives. Doesn't look like there's been any um, predators around. I don't see any tracks, so that's good. Good news. Looks like that fox was in this area down here. The chicks are out and getting some fresh sun. They got about an acre that we let them range on. Doesn't look like there's been any critters around the trash at all. Holy moly. That's a big print, what the heck? Oh, kitty, look at this. Look how far the tracks are across the stride <laughs> okay let me let me kind of measure it out y'all there's three feet about seven feet stride look at here's his toe, toe, toe. holy put your hand down yeah went off over here he went back to the stream but i didn't see his tracks coming just going. You can see over here the tracks get much closer together, probably three feet together. So maybe he was was running. Got startled. Woo! Whatever it was, it was big. <laughs> he came from over here, about seven feet. You got your gun on you, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. I, I didn't bring one. I wonder what he was doing. I don't see where his tracks came up from the creek bed. Yeah, I don't see anything from that direction. He must have come up with that last little snowstorm and huddled down. I have no idea what made those tracks. So if you guys know, help us solve this mystery. And if you know what it is, put it in the comment section. We just got back from the store and I picked up four 18 packs of eggs. They were on sale for $2.49 and our chickens are just starting to lay again. And we have family coming in this weekend for our son's birthday. And then on Thursday, we have more family coming in and we're going to celebrate um, his birthday again. So I wanted to pick up some eggs so we had enough for breakfast while everyone is here. Also picked up some vanilla ice cream. Tonight for his uh, birthday dessert, or one of them, is going to be brownies with ice cream and berries. And then next week, he's requested French apple pie in lieu of a birthday cake. 
So that's what I'm gonna make. I also picked up some milk, heavy cream, buttermilk, some yogurt. I'm gonna make some acai bowls this week, as well as a parfait with homemade granola and the berries. Picked up a couple sour creams. The corned beef was $2.49 a pound, a limit of two, so I picked up two. We're gonna put those in the freezer. I also picked up some Italian sausage. I'm gonna use some of it for the French bread pizzas that we're gonna have for his birthday. The rest of it's going in the freezer. Picked up some hot dogs. These are really good. They're a little pricey, but really good hot dogs. Chicken thighs were on sale for $1.69. I went ahead and I picked up uh, a pack. I'll use some of them in my meal plan this week and get the rest in the freezer. Picked up the French bread for the French bread pizzas. Also some hot dog buns for the hot dogs. Corn tortillas. The Heidelberg. You guys know I love this bread. This one's the French peasant. And this one's just a white bread. We're going to have uh, BLTs this week with avocados. I think this will be really good. And then I picked up for the pantry some lemon extract. Now let me go on the other side and I'll show you all the produce we got. The berries were on sale for $1.99, the raspberries and blackberries. So I went ahead and got them because we're in the middle of winter and berries sound so good. I splurged and I got some strawberries, um, apples, these were on sale. They're uh, galas. I want to say they were $1.69. I think that was the price. We picked up some bananas. The potatoes, I got red and yellow. They were two for $5. The carrots were $1.99 for two pounds. And I got some yellow onions that were on sale for $1.99 for two pounds. Picked up a big thing of garlic. The asparagus was on sale and I can't remember the price. I picked up some Granny Smith's for the French apple pie later this week. And then the cabbage was 49 cents a pound. I picked up two of the iceberg lettuce. We're gonna have a wedge salad uh, this week. I also picked up some of the sweet onions, a jalapeno, cilantro. I'm getting ready to uh, plant some cilantro. Um, a green lettuce and some romaine lettuce, some grape tomatoes. I got a couple of the slicing tomatoes for the sandwiches. And then I'm gonna make a pico de gallo because I'm gonna do a chicken taco soup that you can make in the crock pot. And I'm just gonna make a lot of toppings for it. Here's the avocados. They're not very ripe at all. So I'm gonna put them in a brown paper sack and maybe that'll help them. We got some limes, some broccoli. We're gonna do broccoli and beef this week and some cucumbers. They weren't kidding when they said we were getting snow. This is crazy. We're getting about three inches per hour. My brother and my cousins, they just got here. So they got here in the nick of time because it's really supposed to start coming down. But wow. Our family just arrived safe and sound. We're getting ready to celebrate our son's birthday. So I'm going to end the vlog here. And until the next video, I'll talk to you guys later. And please keep Ukraine in your prayers. Thanks.